Shows you how much you can save and what a car costs before you go to the True Car Certified Dealer Network, and there's 15 grand of those, 15,000 of them. All right, uh, we do it occasionally. Um, you know, there's a lot of mean stuff out there, but I do think when uh, fans come after me, uh, that I should give the fans a voice, and I'm not a big fan of uh, phone calls. Those are dreck. So occasionally I'll bring on some tweet where people crush me, and it gives me an opportunity to uh, defend myself. They're very hurtful. So here's another edition of Hurtful Tweets. Hey, Colin Couch, your hair sucks. Pick a color. Hurtful Tweets. All right, Christine, what do you got for me? All right, this first one is from a guy named B-Rad. He said, Colin, you're an idiot. Blame the Jags coaching staff for playing scared in the soft zone. Don't give credit to Brady. Praise Amendola for saving his awful throws. Uh, B-Rad, that's hurtful. Uh, Tom Brady was accurate. In fact, in three wide receiver sets this year, Brady had the highest passer rating. Tom Brady watched the tape without a running game, knowing he had to throw against one of the AFC's better pass rushes, no Julian Edelman, picked the Jaguars' defense apart with a collection of running backs and slot-wide receivers. Brady had as accurate a year as he's ever had. That was hurtful. This one is from Philly Knows Best, so I think I know where this is going. Oh, boy. Remember when Colin Coward called Philly fans dumb for running Andy out of town? And he's gone on to do absolutely nothing, and now we're in the Super Bowl? Fun times. It's um, sarcastic. Uh, by the way, the reason Nick Foles is on your roster is Andy Reid. The oh. reason Doug Peterson is your coach is Andy Reid. You should be thankful Philadelphia shockingly is not. Nick Foles was going to quit the sport, told his wife, I'm done. Andy Reid said, kid, you got talent. Let me bring you in. And by the way, do you know why Doug Peterson's your coach? Because Andy Reid got on the phone with Howie Roseman, one of the really smart guys in the NFL, the Eagles GM, and said, you're going to make a big mistake if you don't hire Doug Peterson. So this team has Andy Reid's fingerprints all over it. We should do an addition where they get to respond again to what you said. I don't want to respond. I, you know, not, a one little tweet from these jerks is enough. <laughs> That's all They're the airtime that they get. Okay, the final one we have today is from Michael McCarthy, and this one is on LeBron uh, going home. He said, what are you even talking about today? LeBron bought, brought the city of Cleveland a title. Yeah, huge mistake coming home, you clown. Colin Cowherd. Um... If you look at LeBron's career right now, LeBron has about four to five years left. He did not want to be in this spot. Congratulations on the title. LeBron's a little more aspirational than just getting to the finals and getting his ears boxed. In the end, LeBron left a better owner, a better GM, Pat Riley, a better roster, and fell for a sales pitch. And now the last four to five years of LeBron James' career, he's going to have to move again. Congrats on one title. For guys like you that are content, that's fine. For those who are aspirational, it's not enough. I almost want one more. Do you have another one? I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I could probably find one real easily for you, though, if you'd like. They had can one I, on the board the meantime, here, I saw. Huh? Can I, in the meantime, just say that this music is hurtful to my ears? It's kind of rock and roll. <laughs> really, well, here's uh, one. For, you, one? You, you see one from Brandon Jones? It no. says, here comes Colin Coward with pointless LeBron sensationalism. You do know Steve Nash and Mark Jackson also have more assists than Magic Johnson. Yesterday I said the amazing thing about LeBron. He's going to end up with more assists than Magic Johnson. Uh, Brandon, the remarkable thing is Steve Nash, yes, and Mark Jackson, yes, had more assists. They played longer, and they were point guards that often played with elite shooters and scorers. The fact that LeBron, a power forward whose first seven years in the NBA, his best teammate was Larry Hughes. And then his best teammate ever is arguably Dwayne Wade, not a great shooter, that a power forward would end up with more assists than the greatest point guard ever is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I, you want some more? I, I can get some more. No, I'm done. Well, can I, I the Philly guy?
Yeah. He's really happy for being on the show. He tweeted us, "Hey, he I made it onto the show." Most of these people would just like to be seen in public with me. Somebody Let's wanted tweet. to um, <laughs> to bet you that you have to wear an Eagles jersey. That's not going to happen. I don't wear jerseys. Hurtful tweets. I like the music, John. You know it's a little no, it's rock really and roll. Loud, Chris- and it's, it's like the kind of music that, like, you don't like those guys either. The gym rats. They go and they're like. Ah, and, Lifting weights to that kind of stuff, yeah, and they get like really a, angry and yeah, aggressive. Yeah, it's kind of an aggressive. It's an aggressive like it. segment. They're hateful tweets. No, I don't like it. Hurtful. Let's play Taylor Swift like that revenge. Song. I, I'm the only guy that likes Taylor Swift. I think I she, like Taylor Katy Swift too. Perry, Taylor Swift. I think she's a very talented person. I know that's not macho and cool. I think I. No, this isn't the one. It has to be that song about revenge. Like, look what you made me do. Or I like that music. That swish swish song. That's Katy Perry. I think this is good music. Hey, it's not. It's not the first. Thing. It's not the first thing I choose, but I think it's okay. Uh, Dan Shaughnessy, Greg Cosell, Mike Missanelli, and Rob Parker uh, was was on today. It is. Um, this is a uh, Doug Gottlieb is in tomorrow on our show. Uh, I'm going to take it off, then I'm coming back for the Super Bowl week. Um, we have we have guests. We're not going to the Super Bowl, which I'm okay with. I'd rather go skiing and come back to L.A., uh, but we're we going to have all sorts of guests next week from the Super Bowl. We've got our crew there, and they'll be putting people on the air. I'm very excited for it. I, I think the Super Bowl is going to look a little bit like the Jacksonville game. I think Philadelphia's offense is is a little better than Jacksonville's offense. I think the defenses are similar, except I do think Jacksonville's defense on the back end uh, is better. I think Jacksonville secondary is really, really special. So I think the Super Bowl is going to be very. I think it's a very predictable Super Bowl. I think Philadelphia is going to take a lead. Philadelphia is going to be very impressive, and just like the Seahawks' great defense and Atlanta's rise up and Jacksonville, Saxonville, is that over the course of a game and adjustments, Brady will find holes, probably trails, starts nibbling it apart, and then we're going to have a very close Super Bowl at the end. I do hope Gronk plays. I think that's just better for all of us as fans if both teams are fully equipped. Guys, is your new and improved New Year's routine already a mess? Have your trips to the gym already become less and less frequent? That is just a shame. It's time to make big changes in your life and not just working out. How about... A post-holiday insertion of M-Drive. This is all nutrition science. Five clinically tested ingredients. Built on science, safe and effective ingredients to achieve and boost your natural T levels, testosterone, and mostly to increase your energy. You can go online, get 25% off if you go to buymdrive.com, code HERD. It's basically refining your prime. You can also get it at Sprouts, GNC, Dwayne Reed, Vitamin Shop, and Walgreens. Buymdrive.com, code HERD. Gottlieb in for me tomorrow.